the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I think you're going to really enjoy the study that we had today. I know you will, because the question of the title for the day is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? That's what preaching the gospel is about, right? It's to show people that they can have eternal life through Christ. Christ said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And so what he did and what we talked about today, uh, and you'll see in this series, and I, I'll break them down in uh, like A, B, C, D, whatever it takes to complete it. But the focus is, what must I do to inherit eternal life? You do, you need to be born again. And John, in Romans, we did in Romans 10, verse 10, 9 and 10, or not with Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Now, the examples that Christ gave dealing with the rich young ruler and dealing with the Samaritan story is to understand that if you are saved, then you should follow these patterns of eternal life. And if you are by the law, and you need to follow the patterns that Christ gave with the rich young ruler and for the Good Samaritan. And each of them is a relationship that we have between one another. I always talk about the fact of bearing good fruit, the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there's no law. There's a relationship that we're supposed to have with one another. There's a compassion that we're supposed to have for one another. There's mercy that we're supposed to have for one another. If we learn to do that, we can let our light shine. And that's what I'm thinking about. This is the importance of the pattern that we read it today. So we talk about what's what's that do in here to turn life. Let's read those scriptures. Let's study those scriptures. And then let's be doers of those scriptures. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. Because uh, don't forget, we had the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's where we're in right now. Uh, so I hope people will be safe. There's a lot of people traveling. Be safe. Come on back home. We will keep you in prayer. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you and thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. You know, it makes a difference. Uh, and don't forget that if you like what the message, the content of the message, go ahead and say you like it. Make a comment on it. Help me to, to make sure that I'm listening to God correctly and putting out the product or the message that he wants put out because of how it affects you. Amen? So, subscribe when you hear these, uh, vid when you see these videos. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Because he said, I am the light yeah. of the world, people. And, and, he, and so he said, let there be light. And now, the talk about the one we just read in Isaiah, he said, rise and shine, for the light has come, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. If you are a believer, the light is on you. We got to get up and do what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to let the light, the day of Pentecost came, and that, that were the tongues, came down like tongues of fire. Amen. So I just wanted to throw that in there, that it's time for the church to wake up. Maybe some of us are awake, but it's, it's all of us have to wake it up to, to let our light shine in darkness because that's what he called us to do. So now let's, let's exegete this. this uh, let me see. I think I hope this is the next one. Let me see what the next one is. Oh, here's the other piece to remind you who you are too, right? <laughs> Let, let people know who you are. Who are you, brother? Tell, tell what, what is written of who we are. Okay. Second, I mean, First Peter 2, 7, 5, 8, <clears throat> Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, 
the stone which the builders disallowed, mm -hmm. the same is made the head of the corner. You said something about that a couple of weeks ago, didn't you, about that? The rock of offense? Yeah. Did you? Uh-uh. I don't think I would have mentioned it in that way, so maybe that might have been Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> they stole the stuff, right? Go ahead. Yeah. And so, and it goes on, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, were unto also they were appointed. They were appointed, uh-huh. But ye are a chosen generation. Come on now. Royal priesthood. Whoa now. And holy nation. I like that piece. A <laughs> peculiar people. Come on. That ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness. Come on. To his marvelous light. <laughs> That's why he said it rise and shine. Come on now. <laughs> which in time past were not a people. Yes. But are now. now the people uh -huh. died. Yes. Who had not obtained mercy. Mm. But now have obtained mercy. Yeah, come on, that's the gospel. Dearly <laughs> beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust. Which is one of the biggest challenges we got. <laughs> the soul. Yes. Having your conversations honest among the Gentiles. Come on. Come out. That whereas they speak against you as evildoers. Mm. Yes, sir. They may by your good works. Whoa. Which shall behold. Uh-huh. Glorify God in the day of, day of visitation. In other words, the rise and shine, which is that's still just another thing of saying that the light come and rise on you, your works. Yeah. And we ain't talking about works to get into heaven. <laughs> right, because <laughs> that's what that's why religion comes in. In fact, they're playing that works of 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 how to get to heaven. No, no, this is the light, the glory, the image of God shown on you, not as a monk. See, that's another thing. You ever seen that? You know, we 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 religion has has painted the the. Uh, <laughs> What, what they think a, a, a believer is supposed to be. Not just a regular person, but a person who don't go around slapping people on the refrigerator. A person who's willing to go into a burning house and, and save somebody. A person who's willing to help somebody in need, you know? A person who just want to tell the gospel. But the fact is that we need to rise and shine. We need to recognize that we are chosen generation. Because this is a generation before Christ comes back. It's a, it's a long generation. It's been, been here for a while. But gross darkness has covered the earth, hasn't it? I mean, it's when you see the divide, when you see the anger, when you see the things that occur from the crusade all the way up to the Jim Crow laws, all the way to the civil rights movement, all the way up to now, there is a gross darkness. But there's light too. It is time for all of us to rise and shine, let our light shine. That, that, that boy that did all that, you know, the massacre, the, the, the killing, mm -hmm. that, that's, that's darkness. And some of those people, act like they when they get caught they 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 change their mentality don't they you saw the proud boys got a uh oh, sentence 18 years, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's just one I, some of that's, that's uh I don't know how I put that. You know, I, I, I like I said, I'm, I'm, I really don't like talking about politics. And so we go to the scripture here. Let's talk about, I think, it, I know it's next, is the rich young ruler. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, our question is, what must you do to inherit eternal life? Well, that was the question that that, that man asked. Let's, Go ahead and read that for us. And you did, you know, you did ask that question there earlier this week about 
the New Testament, the gospel being under the Old Testament, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a good example of uh, Christ responding. He responded using Old Testament. Yeah. Okay. This is Luke 18, starting at verse 18. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Come on. And Yeshua said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Mm. None is good save one. Come on. That is God. Elohim. Yes. So, first of all, <laughs> Yeshua came uh -huh. so that these people will inherit yes. eternal life. Yes, he, he did. Didn't even hear that part. It, that part wasn't even important <laughs> to him. I think, the part I think. Is, he said, he said, good master, he addressed. <laughs> Seriously, that, that always blew me away. And these deep verses. Well, I, I think, I think, I think what I like about it, when I look at that was it. Christ is trying to say, let me tell you something. There's only one God. Yeah. Now, I, I came here in the flesh to, to, to teach you, give you information, but I want you to understand, you, you, there's only one, one God. Yeah. <laughs> there's none good but yeah. God. Say what? Well, you know, and, and that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the difference between him. Uh huh. He always acknowledges. Yes. He, he did. Never overstep mm -mm. his boundary. Nope. He will never take the glory that belongs to his father. Mm. Even in this one little statement, good yeah. master. Good master. He's like, oh, hold, hold up. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's address that first. That, that, that's important. I got to deal yeah. with that. <laughs> that wasn't your question, but we're going to address that. Exactly. Why calls me that? My why calls that? Me good. None is good save one. Come on. That is God. Yes. And then he goes on. Thou knowest the commandments. Mm, mm, mm. Do not commit oh. adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. Mm -hmm. And he said. All these have I kept from my youth. Come on. So now, <laughs> this is self righteousness. <laughs> yeah, in other words, I've been doing this stuff, yes. Lord. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when Yeshua heard these things, <laughs> he, he, he listened. Said, he listened. To, he listened real well, don't he? <laughs> he said, Yet <laughs> thou one thing. Sell all that thou hast Woo. and distribute unto the poor. Uh-huh. Okay. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. So now I'm gonna give you eternal life. I I'll, I'll not only tell you how to get eternal life, I'm also telling you how you can build up treasures in heaven. Yeah. The things that you crave for, I can get that to you in heaven. But you gotta do this. And, and 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 he asked for it, right? He asked for yeah, an answer. Then he, he asked, and then he told him that, and then he said, "And come and follow me." <laughs> we always leave that part out. We do. And we come. leave that part out because you know, come. <laughs> follow me. Yeah. Come about the gospel. That's the gospel. And That's come, the... follow me. <laughs> and when he heard this, yeah, what he was very sorrowful, <sighs> for he was very rich. Now, now he came running, didn't he? He came. <laughs> well, this one, I guess, this one doesn't say running. <laughs> he came and he started it, didn't he? He initiated it. He initiated this, this conversation because it was a desire. It was a desire. You know, and, he, and, and God gave the Ten Commandments for people to go by, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, and the, the, the crazy thing is, 
when you think the righteousness that you have on your ability is enough, mm. you mm. will find out that you are lacking mm. in, in areas that you, you, you may not believe. Wow. Did you notice that when I'm looking at this here and, and other people check at it, Christ didn't even address the questions of the Ten Commandments that deal with no. the relationship between you and God. No. He did this. This all, the best I'm saying right here, this is dealing with the relationship between yeah. man because and you, man. You, you right? start off with love, love, love to God uh -huh. with all your heart, mind, and soul and strength. No. He dealt with your relationship with man. Yeah. That's what I see right here. Don't commit a adultery. That's that's a relationship between uh, man and man, man and woman, or I guess yeah, man and woman. Yeah, do not steal, do not kill. That's another relationship, right? Don't 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 hurt your brother. Don't be like Cain, right? That that's what he put down there. Don't bear false witness. Who you talking about? He I was even talking about fair, false witness against God, right? That that's about you, isn't it? Yeah, but the, the thing is, it is it's uh, but it's Yeshua that said, "Thou knowest the commandments." He did, yeah. He said, "You know the commandments." Right. Do, do not lock, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness. Honor mm -hmm. thy mother. But you know, he I think he did the catch all. He I can read. I'm gonna interrupt you, but I'm saying is. He 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 did the catch all is the commandments. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna give you a sample of some of them. Yeah. The deal relationship between man and man. I got you. So what you give me to say about it? What you say? He well, he brought those up first, but he I think he covered they encapsulated all of them in the first part of that sentence. Thou knowest uh you see what I'm saying? Well, I think this is this is I'm, I'm gonna say this, and this is this is what I'm going to believe. This is a, this is Addisonism. This is this is this is my <laughs> exergy. <laughs> Christ Yeshua knew this man and this man's heart. Okay, okay, okay. He, he knew this man followed these. Mm. Mm. To get him to the point of, you know, comfortable to where he was saying, you know, I, I've done all this. Yeah, because I don't commit adultery. Yeah. I do not kill. Yeah. I don't steal for nobody. I don't bear no false witness against anybody. Yeah. And obviously, because he's rich, he probably on his parents, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I honor my father and mother. That's what he said. I kept all these. I have kept all. I have the all these. I have kept from my youth up. Yeah, and I so, did that. Like you said, these are all all pointed toward others. Yes, and so there's one. That's that what he's saying. Towards others. Yeah. That is the poor. <laughs> you know. Ooh. So, ooh. So, ooh. Okay. Ooh. You you think that you've treated ooh. others in a way that is according to the commandments, but here is the one that you lack. Ooh. Go distribute. You know, go sell all that you have. Uh huh. And distribute it unto the poor. And since since you've been following these other ones that pertain to other folks, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then once you get rid of this yoke, yeah, come and follow me, mm -hmm. because that is the yoke that was restraining this person, and obviously it is said in 23. Yeah. When he heard this, he was very sorrowful. <laughs> well, he was very rich. <laughs> and that was, that was his riches was his God. Exactly. 
that because was his ability, it, it 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 gave him the ability to not kill, mm. to not steal, mm. to not bear false witness. Come on, thy mother and thy father. Yeah, that, that the riches gave him that, and so outside of the riches, who is he? Who is he? Because because I, I you know what I keep thinking about when he said thou lack is one thing. Yeah. Out of out of all those things, is that all this stuff have you? You 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 do some things to others, but that rich whole is what cult, what you worship. Like you said, though, right? Yeah. You worship the rich because the one I'm thinking if you're talking about the Ten Commandments, right? When you say thou lack one thing, is that you lack the relationship between you and God. Yeah. You need you need to get rid of all this stuff to these other people that you say you got a good relationship with, and then I need you to focus on me because that follow me is because because he's going to the Father, right? Remember that John fourteen six people, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No, no one comes to. to the there it is. So you follow him, you follow him to what? To the Father. Yeah. That's the one thing you're lacking, yeah. Mister Rich Man. Without without the riches I don't even think he would have approached him mm. he and, felt comfortable with what he got right yeah yeah and, yeah. and, and, and because his the richness he, he you know his his riches was his God yes yes that was his source of strength his source of power. Yeah, his source of being. Yes. Mm. At least in his mind, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, that that thought that was interesting. And then let's see what the uh, look at it like this. You have, and, and this is how we started off talking about, you know, ministries now are talking about being this person, mm -hmm. trying to achieve what this person is. To yeah. Be very rich. To be very yeah. comfortable, to be you know uh, sustained in a in a way that is above the majority. Yeah, because it because somebody thought the other day on a TikTok uh, or one of the social media saying is that the ministries out there in total gets about eight hundred billion dollars, and the person was saying. Where is that money going to? The, where is that being seen, taking care of the community? You know, that's around these mega churches and even the smaller ones. It's, what's the impact of the neighbor, the community, with all this money that's coming? Where's the distribution? Well, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, yeah. The problem with all that is somebody needs to be in charge mm, mm, mm. and we know how that is yeah and who supposed to be in charge the bible said that christ is the head of the christ church the head. And, and yet these people don't they want to be head yeah so and their head is i need that and you know it's in this it's some of them got and i people we ain't trying to put them down we're just trying to call a spade a spade if you look at it i see you got mansions i understand you got big you seen them right big you saw that think you got mansions you got you got big i mean they show some of the houses that some of these people have huge huge homes just like all the other rich people in other words you blended into the rich people I do understand, brother. What they're saying is that uh, because of the amount of money that that uh, uh, I'm managing, you know how other CEOs. Yeah. I, I should I should be at least have that type of wealth in me because look at the, the CEOs that have similar what infrastructure organizations, wealth generating. Managing, if I'm if I'm managing a billion dollars, I'm managing hundreds of millions of dollars. Then I should be just like any other CEO to have this lifestyle. Okay, but, but you, you're, you're 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 not a CEO. You're not a CEO. <laughs> you, you're not you're not a, you're not an industry, right? You're not a yeah. 
and, and, and what you have doesn't belong to you. <laughs> it really doesn't. You well, know, what, without, is, without, without Christ and without God, what is your purpose? Who? What, what is your purpose? So who, who does it belong to? Mm. Who, who are, who are you ministering for? Is it for mm. self? You know, and, and how big do you have to be? <laughs> you know, to, to, to do what Christ has, has called you to do. Yeah. And, 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 and when, when is it acceptable to be famous? Mm. Why, why, why is the, you, you would think that you would reject fame, that you yes. would decrease so that fame does not increase, so that mm. your fame is not causing people to look for you. Yes. Instead of to look for Christ. When you, when you, when you become the focal point, when your image is desired, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. And, I and do. when I'm saying image, when that image is that person, and yeah. that person becomes desired, and everyone seeks that person instead of seeking Yeshua and and the and 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 the and the word. So you yeah. may think, okay, well, I'm not interested in the in the person. I'm interested in the words that that he's able to 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 orate. Come on. But there's others who are doing that, and just as as effective. But you don't want to hear them. No. You don't want to hear this one person, and this yeah. one person is not meant for everybody because he cannot. If 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 he doesn't, I don't know. No. They it, they, it, they, how, they they got no problem saying with a man rob God. No. They ain't got no problem saying that, did they? No. No. That, I think that's your point, really saying, is that you, you have no problem saying that this money belongs to God when it comes to people giving. Mm -hmm. But you got a problem when when all of a sudden, when, when we ask you to distribute that money, just like that rich man, right? Mm -hmm. that, that rich man, he, 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 he thought he had it going on. Mm -hmm. He thought he was doing the right thing, didn't he? except for the fact that when he had to give it away. Yeah. Because he, could Christ basically saying is you, you should give it away because it's my money. It's, I'm well, the one that bless you. It's this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.